Yeah, I think we should record. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Sloss. And his wife, Juana. And yo, today in the Geeky Fam Network, we're discussing the Avengers Endgame uh, with spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, you need to click this off right now. And you should have clicked off anyway, because I know in the title it said, with spoilers, and you still clicked on it like an old hardhead fool. <laughs> Leave him alone. So, yeah, get your, get your butt up out of here, because we're about to have a conversation that's full with spoilers and stuff about Avengers Endgame. So, what do you think about the movie, Juan? Well, uh, like I said in the uh, spoiler-free review, I loved it. Yeah. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. It met and exceeded my expectations. Yeah. Um, I was highly entertained. Yep. I got a little emotional in some parts. A little. <laughs> Just a little, you know. I only Just shed, little, I little. only shed a, a tear or two. Man, my lip was five. my lip was <laughs> my lip was quivering, bro. <laughs> my lip was straight quivering, boy. But all yes, right, I'll, yes. I'll, I'll 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 take that. What so, about you? What did you think? You know what? I really enjoyed the movie i did i did really really enjoy it because and this movie i felt like on its own was really good as far as endings go and then to think about wrapping up oh my gosh what are we at 21 movies over darn near 11 years and i know there's some nerd out there right now like well actually he wasn't 11 years shut up so but <laughs> 21 movies i really felt that this tied it up Really, really nicely. It couldn't have been 21 movies. It was really 21 movies. It was 21 movies. It can't be That's 21 about right. Movies. That's about, on average, two movies a year for 11 years. Gosh, it's That's really been right. that? Yeah. I got to fact check that again. It can't That's be 20. Right. Okay, but anyway, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I stood up and cheered often in a movie. Uh, I cried like a busload of babies. At, uh, and I have one part in particular when, oh, it's a spoiler version. I, I yeah. cried like a baby when Iron Man died. I mean, my, my whole lip was, was was quivering. The worst part is, is I had it spoiled for me like on Wednesday, so I knew it was gonna happen. But actually seeing it, no, I was still I was still kind of. I may need another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I really enjoyed it. I kind of thought things were a little slow for a while, but it was necessary because movie can't just be all action all day. They still got to tell some story going on. But I really felt like once the action really picked up, it was like, oh my God, it just didn't, it didn't stop. I think really from the moment when uh, the Hulk put on the glove to try to do the snap and he couldn't, and then Thanos came in like, hey, 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 dog, and just started bombing the <laughs> hell out of them fools. I think from that point on, I pretty much was in my seat just like, I don't think I blinked. I don't know if I took a breath. It was because at that point, yeah, no, the was action tense. was incredible. It was, it was tense. It was tense. Um, I had the kids over on my side, and there was a, a period of time um, when uh, the youngest had his his hands wrapped around yeah, my Yeah, because it was like And he tense. was like, oh, I can't take it. What's going to happen? I can hardly watch. Because he didn't want, <laughs> he he didn't didn't want, he didn't want Thanos to get hurt. Yeah, he, he didn't want Thanos to get hurt, but he, he, didn't but want he Thanos was really tense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was incredible. I I kind of felt like it was a really good way to wrap it all up. I loved all the characters. Well, not all the characters. I mean, because it's really an Avengers film. Let's face it, it's an Avengers film. So it's mostly about those characters coming to grips with everything that's happened. I, I really like the human part of it. That they're superheroes who failed. Let's get let's just let's say they failed at their job, and they was depressed. I mean, they were suffering. Mm -hmm. I mean, anxiety attacks. Thor put on like 150 pounds. <laughs> and man, and they were really suffering. They were suffering like people suffer. And I really thought that was cool the way they humanized it. I really, I don't care what anybody say, I love what they did with the Hulk. I love how we had Hulk and Banner kind of together in the hybrid. I love seeing Hulk like that. I didn't really miss the super hulky smash. You know, I love that about Hulk. But I, I really liked seeing the Banner ish kind of well i don't want to call it the banner the banner hulk <laughs> mark ruffalo hawk let's just call it that because it's pretty much yeah it's just him i really like that i love the characters how that happened um it was just really really it was really really good i loved how it all came together and i really really enjoyed um kind of that girl power moment at the end when spidey couldn't get the infinity the, the gauntlet 
to um, you know try, try, try to try to get it to Captain Marvel, and then he didn't know how she was gonna get it through <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. the field. Yep. And Okoye and them was like, oh no, she got help, she got this, and then mm-hmm. all the Marvel girls assembled. That was hype, and I don't care what anybody say. I don't care some dudes like, oh they're pandering. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Your mama should have pandered unless he was dead. Anyway, I loved that part, how that all came together. I really, really enjoyed it. I dug all that. Action pack. I liked the story. Man, it was... Was there anything not to like, honestly? What can you think of? What was? What did you like and what did you not like? Yeah. Because I can we're, talk we're, about we're, that. We're going gonna to start that piece a little bit over because you took some of my pieces oh. out of there. But that's okay. Go ahead. Say, do your um, thing. So, yeah. So, three things that I really liked about the movie. Um, one, I really liked Banner Hulk. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm already, I was already a fan of Hulk. Okay. You know, uh, and, and a fan of Bruce. Yeah. So, that's your boyfriend. So, yeah. So, putting the two together, you know, so now I got this big... Hulky, you know, yeah, yeah. green guy that's all brawn. And, and then he also smart. And bulk. And now he's also smart too. Yep. He has brains, <laughs> Dr. Banner. So, right. you know, he's just so dreamy. He was like taking a selfie. All right, kids, damn. <laughs> Listen to your mom. I, I don't care what anybody say. I love that. I love yes, that yes. idea. I did really, really like that. What else did you really like? Um, I also... Um, enjoyed like you said how you got to see the human side of all the superheroes yeah so out of all the movies that i've seen so far i don't know this is the one where they felt more um like people with responsibilities and powers (laughs) than necessarily than superheroes yeah yeah you know um and I, I like that. That 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 made me feel even more vested in the characters and yeah. what was going to happen to them. And and I wanted them to success. I wanted them to. I wanted the Avengers to avenge <laughs> their loss from the previous movie. Yeah. Um, uh, avenge all of the friends and their loved ones in the world mm-hmm. that um you know that they had lost right uh, for all those years. So uh, I I enjoy seeing right. that uh, those moments. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Yes, yes. And then like you said, I also enjoyed um there that there were some moments of Guru Paro in the yeah. in the movie in the movie. I wish there was more of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there was so much going on, you know, there just wasn't enough time for them to really elaborate on any of the things that I would have liked to see. Sure. You know, they focused so they had a problem to solve, they had a mission to accomplish. That was the focus and that's fine. You yeah, know, no um, doubt. No I, doubt. I did. And I know you asked for three things, but there's another thing that I really liked. Um Captain America. Oh, getting yeah. to go back in time yeah. and live his life yeah. with his loved one. That was so oh, awesome. I, I, I love felt it. I so love good for that. him. He got to live. He got to grow old. Yeah. I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking that wasn't even possible for him yeah, to yeah. Uh, to grow old. But um, he he. I don't know. He felt like he was at peace at last. He really was. He had the love. I could tell he had a great life. Yeah. And, um, I think that was a great way yeah. to wrap up his story. Yeah, I think that was probably one of the, probably my third emotional moment. I think biggest emotional moments was, you know, Iron Man dying, um, seeing all the heroes come back, and then seeing Cap, knowing that he led, he, he, he was able to go back and live his life uh, with the love of his life, how that happened. You know, I thought that was really cool. Mm-hmm. They, they, they really, they, these heroes, these godlike heroes in a sense, really kind of felt a little human. Yes. They did in this yes. movie, that I yes. really, really, really did like. And then, brother, he came back and passed the shield on to <laughs> Sam, next black Captain America. I yes. really, yeah, that caught me off guard. I didn't, I, I didn't think they were gonna go no, there. No, there was no that way. Was nice. Yeah, I didn't expect that at all. There was no way yeah, I was yeah. gonna predict something like yeah, that. I that did. was, that was very cool to see. Yeah, I, I did enjoy that. It's, it was just so many moments that I just really, yes. really dug. I really did. I don't have, you know, my only complaint about the entire movie is what time oh, yeah, travel. I know. Oh yeah, I know. Time I just hate time travel. travel. It doesn't matter because my brain can't wrap around time travel and just. Because you don't really try. You don't want to. It's just too much. It's just too much quantum stuff going on. <laughs> I think I'm smart until somebody brings up time travel. And then I just realize I'm like the SpongeBob gorilla meme. Like, whoa, I really. <laughs> 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 I don't, all of a sudden I go from here to like. Ugh. 
I feel like like I'm dumb like a box of rocks whenever time travel get brought up. So for me, time travel, I hate it Aww. because I I don't understand it. And kind of like baseball, like I hate baseball because I can't play it. And <laughs> I can't, like, I can't do that. And so time travel, I just cannot wrap my head around all the little nuances. If this happened, then this got to happen but too. But that's exactly what makes time travel fun because you have to, um, un it's like a puzzle, right? And you got to understand how the other pieces fall into place or fall out of place, you know, once you move things around. That's what's exciting about it. You know, I, I love time travel. That's because you're a nerd. I, well, True. And you super smart. True. So that's why you get it. I you would get it too if you really tried. You're just too busy, you know, fighting it, you know. You just hate the Ooh. concept. <laughs> but, but look, but look, you know, I when when we were watching Infinity War, yeah. what I said at the end of that movie was, Where's Ant Man? You know, yeah, I, I felt yeah. like with, with all of this this supernatural stuff we had going on, right? We had time stones, soul yeah. stones, you know, we had all of this stuff. Where's Scott Lang? Where is Scott in his quantum realm? Yeah, and yeah. I didn't at the time um really associate it with time travel per se. You're right. I don't know where I was going with that thought at the time, but I remember I had said that. I had said that on a couple of um um, somewhere in a, a social forum somewhere mm -hmm. too. And other people were like, yeah, what was Ant-Man going to do here? Whatever. Quiet but but I, was, I was really pleased to see that that did indeed come back yeah. and become a very critical part oh, it was, of them solving the problem. There couldn't was, happen there without was no, it. There was no way around it. Couldn't happen without it. You know, and I know that, I know what you mean about time travel and sometimes it just seems just way too far-fetched to take seriously too sometimes. You know, because like, um, no more than a god of thunder with a hammer coming down with a pot belly, <laughs> that's, that's but true, I mean that's true. But when you talk about the quantum realm, you know, yeah. anything, anything is pretty much possible. The rules, the rules that we are used to, don't apply. So I don't know. I I love the time travel aspect, of it. and they didn't overdo it. They didn't. No, overdo they didn't. It. They didn't beat it over our heads. No, but there was just enough there for there to, yeah. to be some other possible outcomes that weren't discussed. True. Because, for example, here's one of the things that now, I don't, don't 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 let your head explode, but I have to get this out. So one of the things you have to ask yourself, right, is is if at the end of the movie, the captain went back and returned all of the stones back to where he originally found them, what's really going to stop? Thanos. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I see how you got it. them oh, all over again. Oh. And this happening all over again. Oh. You know, I don't know if it would be an alternate oh. timeline or you can say theoretically it already did happen in another oh. timeline, right? Because now we've changed it. There's so many questions that are still there. You know, it, it, the, the problem isn't really solved. Not really. Uh, okay. You know? But, I, but, I, I know. I but, know. It uh, is for the people in this timeline, right? But, but it could happen again. But, <laughs> I, thought, I don't know. <laughs> but wouldn't it be solved because they he left that? timeline to come over to this one so isn't he now removed from that stream oh god i can't even take it <laughs> no. I'm trying, look let's try not to overthink it right now because i'm assuming that marvel isn't even gonna go there and i know what you mean because from that timeline he Ooh. went and you know he came i guess he came into the future and um got dusted <laughs> But there's still some potential overlap there for me that I'm missing, right? Because if everything got put back to the way that it was, oh. does, are we really good? And maybe we are. Oh. And maybe we are. But anyway, look, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry, baby. God. God. <laughs> but that's the kind of that's the kind of pondering that time oh. travel, you know, kind of inspires you to do that I like. I enjoy. You know, you, you're now you're vested in this story. You're you're kind of trying to predict or play detective and what clues did I miss? And this is that. And I think that's cool. <gasps> I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sorry. <gasps> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hey. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Why? Did you see? But see, well, that's, what, well, that's what I love about time travel. But anyway. I hate time travel. Yeah, I have, I have questions. <laughs> Sitting there like, tree, tree, chap. <laughs> oh my God. No. Okay. What else didn't you like about the movie, if anything else? 
Oh, um, okay. I didn't like the time travel. I hated the time travel. <laughs> and time travel can kiss my butt. That's what we're... Okay, we get it. We get it. You didn't like the I didn't like the time travel. But other than that, I would have to say that out of all the movies, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it was my favorite one. Um, so now yes, yes, this is better than um, Civil War for me because Civil War was my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is better than that. I did enjoy it. I like a lot of the things that people are saying they didn't like about it. I completely disagree, but I can understand how they feel that way. What are people saying they don't like about it? They can be wrong. That they didn't like how it was pandering. They thought it was too much story. Um, yeah, the pandering, the too much story. Pandering to who? I don't in in those five seconds, <laughs> ten seconds. May, I don't know of girl power. You know what? I mean, what? You know, you know me because once people start saying something I disagree with, I pretty much just tune out mm -hmm. at that point. I'm just like, because I don't want to go back and forth. I just say, okay, you're wrong, and I just go about my business. So, but you know what? It's art. It's subjective. So everybody can see it the way they want to see it. I saw the things that I really enjoy, and I'm cool with. Yes. And I'm yes. sure there are things out there you people did not <laughs> like, and you're not cool with. So. You are completely entitled to those opinions, except for the girl power one. If you didn't <laughs> like that, you just little punk. So other than that, though, I, I really enjoyed the movie. I would give it an 8.75, 9. I, I got to knock off a whole half point for the time travel. So <laughs> I thought we were getting given letter grades. Yesterday. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Letter grade. The free one. I think you I, gave it a B minus. <laughs> and then you chastised me, so yes, then you said, yes, okay, B plus, B, <laughs> maybe they give me some extra credit, I don't know, I'm just saying, <laughs> if they wear a short skirt to the classroom or something, I'm just saying, B plus is about, because of the time travel, other than that, out of all superhero movies I've ever seen in my life, it's the best one that I've seen, I thought, like I said, because it was a great ending that wrapped up an amazing saga an amazing run mm -hmm. it wrapped that all up and it did it so well in my opinion because it really it really could have dropped the ball on the ending endings are hard and i really thought that they made it worth it so it also made me want to go back and watch a lot of the films and and like i said before not only did it wrap up you know the saga it also wrapped up the um the arcs of several characters yeah very well very well um, also which is impressive yes very so well. i mean it, it was in game and in, in more so way, ways the one and yeah. uh i'm curious to see where we're gonna go yeah, next i'm very curious to see where they go and that, that's the other part that's really impressive yeah. like i said before that you know there was also room for new stories new opportunities yeah. Yeah. um so it, it was the end the end of this chapter yeah right but at the same time, it was the start of something new. Yeah, I'm curious to see if Thor is going to be hanging with the Guardians from now on. Yes, and yes. and you know, I've looked at what movies are coming next, and I'm really needing Marvel to figure out how you're going to bring in my beloved X-Men to this. Please yeah. bring them in. Please, <laughs> so we can forget about all those other X-Men movies. They'd have to do movies. it right. They'd have to so do it right. So please make that happen. But it was great. I really love how they wrapped it up. I liked how they wrapped it up for those stories. And I like how it's now, it's like you said, it's going to open up new possibilities going yes, forward. Yes. So I'm really curious to see. Oh, one going. thing I wanted to touch on, I almost forgot. What's that? Okay, going backwards a little bit. Yeah. I want to talk about Thanos himself. Look, okay. man. So, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The God so Killer. So, I remember, see, that term right there is what I want to, I want to bring up. God Killer. Thanos is definitely the God Killer. I remember um, watching Infinity War. And just being just shook that Hulk was defeated <laughs> as horribly as he was. He got his. I mean, he was thoroughly, thoroughly destroyed emotionally. To the point he wouldn't come back out. You know, not just physically, yeah, emotionally. He wouldn't even come back out. In Infinity War. And um, I guess at the time I was a little confused about all of that. I thought. I don't know. I thought that he had a stone with him or so. No, he came he out. Didn't. I don't remember he had a stone, but he came out dropping bricks. He I did. know that much. <laughs> so, I, I, and, but, you know, watching um, Endgame and seeing Thanos in action again at the end against everyone. Thanos was big. He had the brawn. He had the bulk. 
but he's also he also was smart. He was smart as hell. He was smart at the drop of a dime. He was smart. Yes. And he was fast. Yes. I mean, physically fast yes. as well. And um, I didn't realize just how boss. Yes. Thanos of a is. Villain Thanos is. And so you gotta so, respect his game. So, so the more that I think about it, yeah. The more I I I, I have to accept the fact that. The Hulk being anything other than punk, <laughs> you know, by by Thanos wouldn't have made sense. Yeah. You know, because Thanos was a god killer. Dropped and, him and, like and, a and habit, although man. Hulk, although Hulk was badass, he's no god. No. So I um I don't know, it gave me a new level of appreciation. A lot of respect for Thanos. A lot of respect for Thanos and and, and, and it made sense that Hulk was literally shook to his core. I was shook to my core. There was watching somebody this that Hulk could not smash. At all. And that impact was great. And so when so him becoming Hulk, Banner Hulk, or Dr. Hulk, whatever you want to call him, kind of makes sense, right? Because just being all bronze and, and smash and do, do. You know, it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna cut it. Hey, look if I it got, wasn't gonna cut it against the God Killer. Look if I got my ass whooped like that too, I'd make some life changes. And, choices and, and he did make some life changes and choices. Man, that's what he was an amazing villain. So I mean, and I, and I get villain. that a lot of people were upset about about you know the direction that was taken with Hulk, but it made me love him even more. He was not a monster. Yeah. He he he's a man with monster like tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that humanize your boyfriend with a bit more. Listen, you listen. Look, he reminds me of a green you. So, what you, what's that say about you then? You call me a mom? That's fair. You don't smash things? You're what? not big and hooky? Well, I mean, when I'm mad, I... Uh-huh. Yeah. I want to sit here and take these the accusations. The only difference is that he's green and he has eyebrows and some hair. So, we're going to get rid of wrap up. <laughs> This whole damn conversation mm -hmm. because somebody got jokes. I love you. Anyway, it's your boy Sloss. <laughs> and Wanda. <laughs> and we really did. We really, really enjoyed Avengers Endgame. I hope you really enjoyed our conversation. And uh, we look forward to talking to you guys again soon. So, till next time, stay geeky. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Bye.